I've been working from home for more than three years, and this was my desk. I'm not so proud of it. It was messy and small. And messy. Too much stuff on it and too many cables underneath. But most of all, I had enough of sitting the whole day. Hi, my name is Enrico, and I help you become a remote working hero by adopting the technology that works best for you. So I decided to look for an electric sit-stand desk. And as I heard that some colleagues of mine had purchased one from IKEA, I went on IKEA website. That's the Swiss version of IKEA, but probably it looks the same all over the world. First impression is overwhelming. I had no clue that IKEA offered 39 types of standing desks. So I started looking a little bit at the features of the desks and realized that actually there are only a couple of models. Pekant, Rodolf, Idesen, and Scarsa Trotten. Please forgive me for the pronunciation, as I have no clue what I'm saying. From these four models, there are different variants. They concern the size of the desk in centimeters 160 by 80, or 160 by 110, or 120 by 80, in a straight or corner desk version. Each model also offers different types of desk color and feet color. I was personally looking for a desk that was a little larger than my previous one, which was 140 by 60. So I filtered my search for rectangular desks that are 160 by 80. But there are still 19 options. No way I can make a choice online and buy it on the website. So I decided to go to the physical store. Welcome to the Swiss Italian IKEA. I guess this looks pretty familiar to all IKEAs in the world. So I make my way through all the sections till I get to the office space. And here we are. The first desk I see is the Big Hand. It costs 549 Swiss francs. It is about the same amount in US dollars and maybe 530 euros. This white model is exactly the dimensions that I need, 160 by 80. And I have to say I also like the color. It has rounded edges and this electric mechanism with two arrows that you can use to lift or lower the desk. Underneath it has a net for cable management. This other desk is also a big hunt, but it is slightly smaller and has a wooden color. This little key that you see here is actually very useful if you want to lock the position of the desk. For example, if you have little kids as I do and you want to avoid them playing with the desk when you're not there. Apart from the color and the size, this desk is exactly the same as the other white one. The next one they have at the shop is the Idesen. This is a wooden black version and it is significantly more expensive than the Bekant. The corners of this desk are not rounded and the net for the cable management is placed at a slightly different position. Also the button for the electric movement is different. Here we have only one button that we can push or pull to lower or lift the desk. I have to say this system looks a little bit nicer than the big hand. The third model they have at the shop is the Rodolf. This specific desk is 140 by 80 and it has a kind of gray color I honestly don't like so much. After a good half an hour in the shop, I made my choice. That will reveal to you in a minute. If you're finding this video useful, please hit the like button so more people will have the chance to watch it. Thank you. So done, I pay and I take it home. Time to unpack and mount it. The desk comes in three boxes. Number one, number two, and number three. So let's roll up the sleeves and set it up. And here it is. I've chosen the Big Hunt desk. I really like the rounded corners and also the very smooth texture of the table. And let's try it. Up and down. So finally I have a little bit more space for all my gear. And every now and then during the day I can stand up to have a healthier working position. Time to subscribe to my channel now and watch one of these next two videos to further enhance your remote working skills.